G'day everyone, uh, Richard Maher from Mars Classes. Look, I'm going to look today at how you can uh, create Tarsia puzzles. You used to be able to do it with a workaround with the Mac. You used to be able to put a wine skin on and, and run Windows programs and um, create these Tarsia puzzles on your Mac. But now with Catalina being 64-bit, it's just not possible. So, like Hannibal who said, uh, I'll either find a way or create one, I've found a way to create Tarsia puzzles. I'm going to share with you how you can do that in this video. Yeah, so Tarsia puzzles are pretty awesome. You've probably seen them before. When you go for a search for Tarsia on Mac, there are a lot of links, but when you click on them, none of them work. Um, they, they did have workarounds back in the day, but uh, even those workarounds don't work now. So when you look uh, for images of them, you can get lots of empty templates that you can just type your stuff in. Uh, now that, that's quite awkward to just type it in. These are a couple I've created using the method that um, I've used. Uh, now I've made different shapes rather than just your traditional triangle one. Uh, how do you go about it? Well you make a template. Now I've made this template using Keynote. You can use it in PowerPoint. I've got PowerPoint templates too. Um, what you do is you make up your answer template with the uh, text boxes numbered as 1 through to 18 on this triangle type one here. And then move those um, text boxes into other triangles on your uh, sheet you want to make as a Tarsia. Now, when you do that, um, that means that you can give your sheet to the students. They can cut it up without knowing where the answers are. Quite a lot, often, uh, the templates that you find on, online, they've already got the answers there and, the, and if you, it's then up to you to cut them up and then uh, hand them out to the students. That's a lot of work which is unnecessary. So doing it this way you get all your text boxes in in locations which are different to where the answers will be. Now I'm going to show you how to do an, an ecology one I've got here. You type in the concepts into a table which you put on your PowerPoint or Keynote. Um, you have the concept and its related term there. You've got a number, I've got a numbered one through to 18. And you just type them in going through, you know, whatever concepts you want and whatever links. Now, usually it's mathematics, but I'm doing it, this is in science. So I've got all my 18 terms in there. I just copy and then I look for the number one. There's, it occurs twice. I, I then paste. And then I do the same for the other number one. I paste into the number one location. Do the same with number two and so on. So you just uh, have to keep finding where you've placed these text boxes. And it's a matter of just pasting them in. Now, you'll notice on this occasion when I paste it in, it's a little bit too long for the thing. So it's just simply a matter of clicking it, uh, compressing the length of it. And if you don't like the orientation, you can straighten it up too. So then you just go through all of them. You just keep you know, pasting, copying, pasting them into your um, puzzle. Once you've got your puzzle set up, then you get rid of the, um, the box on the side, the table on the side, and you just give the students a copy of the puzzle you've got. Then it's up to them to cut them out and then they can link them together into the solution that you had, or the, the solution that comes from this puzzle. It, the kids find it really good. The collaboration that comes from it is awesome. But uh, to be able to create these uh, templates and make them yourself is way better than just copying and pasting from some images on a Google search. You can have them made specifically for your students. Now I've made these uh, templates if you want. You can get them from my uh, store on um, Teacher Pay Teacher. Uh, and then you can fiddle around with them. If, if you don't want to make your own, I've got other shapes of puzzles, or you can request different shapes of puzzles if you wish. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.